Okay, so um, this video is to show you uh, my game engine that I've been working on. It's written in entirely C++, so, yeah. So, basically, this isn't all of it. You can see all of the, uh, the files on the left-hand side are all part of the engine. Um, so, what I like to uh, say about, it's not complete yet, but this is just a demo. So, basically, what how it works is it's based around Ogre 3D, and my what I'm so happy about is that I wrote it where all the maps are defined as a setup file versus being hard-coded. So, if you look on the screen, you can see basically the Ogre 3D resource setup, setups there, and so like things like the root position of the debug camera, the terrain setup, skybox, different flags that are in the map, which is where AIs can spawn and you spawn, and then there's the AI encounter and your character down at the bottom. So that's basically what I've added, and there's other scripts like to define characters and um, projectiles and the particle systems that they use. So, um, I will show you the game engine now. So, and one of the other things is that this is actually written for Linux. So, this, this actually currently it's only compatible with Linux because I have not bothered to uh, get a Windows port working yet. And I won't until I finish everything with Linux. So, let me uh, start this up. Okay, so the engine's called uh, Technogen because my alias in many places is Technoman. So, let me, it's got a graphics configuration system. So you can do like screen resolution, refresh, full screen, anti-aliasing, and show the FPS counter and shadows. Um, you have, um, so. Then in the background you'll notice that that's the uh, Salem plugin, so it's uh, kind of an environmental uh, simulator. It can also do precipitation, but if you just watch for another second, there's like it'll get dark and stars come up in the sky. And generally, you would have a terrain there so you wouldn't see the sun in the background. But if you notice the frames per second down in the corner, the um, it's getting about three hundred, almost four hundred frames a second right now, and this is on my Linux system running on OpenGL. So don't say that Linux games can't get good uh, gaming performance. So then you can load maps. This is a default map I've been working on, and you can see that it has a bunch of default things. Like in the top left, there's a health bar, in the bottom left, there's the frame counter, and there's also a crosshair. So, down on the bottom, you can see that, and the animations, all of the, ca the figures are animated, so you can walk around. And there's also AIs, this particular one's trying to attack me. And that's the effect of him hitting you. Also, that's not all the particle effects this can do. There's the r robot's missiles, so, really pretty, well, not really pretty, I'm not really good at drawing the particles, but and then an explosion in the background. So, there's a health counter system, so that one just died. The um, thing about this is that, well, the reason that I'm not even good at playing my own game, I feel ridiculous. Um, so, all of the, the, the ninjas have basically a set yeah, and you'll notice that guy's actually floating. So, it's not done yet, it's just a work in progress, like, there's actually no physics. The only physics involved is the fact that bullets go forward and you don't walk through the terrain. So, if this guy comes up and attack me, you can notice my health bar going down up in the top left. And the, that's the effect that happens when he swings the sword. Um, so, and then, let me show you this guy dying again. He has basically 1,500 health on the missile, do um, 1,500 damage, 
I will do a thousand damage so the uh, it doesn't kill him instantaneously. But that's all changeable in the config files because that's what this engine does. It's configurable. Also, another thing is that there can be multiple points in which the um, the projectiles come from. So if you notice, the robot has two guns: one on his left hand, one on his right. So you can actually fire a missile from the left and then from the right, um, and it alternates. So and there's that last ninja, and he's gone. So and there's also a lot of depth perception, so I can shoot missiles off into the distance and they'll just fly down and eventually hit the terrain or you can shoot them off into space I mean there really isn't space in this game oh my gosh okay um, that's another thing that has a problem but they have a death time on the missiles so they do end up blowing up as if they get too far away as you can see But and if you'll notice the frames per second is still at 300 so it's fairly efficient and it's actually running at eight times anoscopic filtering at the moment. So if you actually ever want any better performance, I can just turn that down. So it's a highly configurable, and it's not complete yet, but the AI system is what I'm working on right now. It's just in its most basic stages. Like all they can do is if you get close to one of them, every single one of them know about your position, they all turn towards you and try to come attack you. So... And that's Technogen so far.